impact detection while parked. We're going to be going over three dash cameras, the Thinkware U3000, the 70My AA10, and the Vantru N4 Pro. We're going to throw the basketball at the windshield and see how quick they react to turn on after impact. Video the Thinkware U3000 turns on one second after impact. So if someone backs into you in a parking lot, this is going to wake up one second after impact and start recording which is quite awesome. That's amazingly efficient, and the low current draw it has in this mode is also really good. We'll be covering current draw on another video coming up. Video the 70 My A810 takes two seconds to record after impact, which is actually quite amazing that it actually did that in two seconds after impact. Video the Vantru N4 Pro, as you can see, we throw the basketball at it. We're now waiting for the impact detection to turn on. And the impact detection is gonna take 13 seconds again. So this dash camera is taking 12 to 13 seconds on average to wake up after impact, which makes it pretty easy for someone to back into your car and drive away. So we're gonna test the Thinkware U3000 again. We waited 15 minutes. We wanted to make sure there was consistency. And boom, impact one second after impact again. The Thinkware U3000 was completely consistent. 70 My A810, two seconds after impact again. And we're going directly to the Vantru N4 Pro Video for protected. a third, and sorry, second test of the third camera. And as we can see, we're going to be coming up here and it's going to take about 13 seconds again before it wakes up and starts recording, which means there's a good chance it's not gonna record what's needed. So we took the Vantru N4 Pro and found that there is a quick start mode in, in their impact detection. One, Steamboat two, Steamboat three, Steamboat four, Steamboat five, Steamboat six, Steamboat. So it takes six seconds in order for it to actually load. So it's quicker than the 13 seconds, but still in my opinion, it's not good enough.